Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I figured we'd do a little bit of an unboxing. This is a vintage HP, a Hurtenberger, a Gold Cup 61 Glow Motor. And this is going to be going in my equally as vintage Chaos that uh, actually has a uh, HP 61 Gold Cup in it that actually had a little bit of a catastrophic failure. Uh, the, uh, the head bolts blew out of it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a little newbie mistake there we're not going to talk about. But uh, I wanted to keep it as vintage and true to form as possible. And I happened to find this one brand new in the box at a really, really good price. So I figured I'd pick it up, put it in that chaos, and uh, share it with you guys. But in this video, we're going to look at what comes in the box with one of these vintage gold cups from the factory. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, I opened it up already just to make sure everything was in there, uh, and it is. But uh, really, just a just a nice box. I mean, nice line drawing of the of the engine on the outside, made in Austria. So these is one, what this is one of the uh, original older ones, and there we go. It's a '61 Gold Cup, but uh, in German and English. Nice, uh, nice box for it. Let's go ahead and open it up. That's what everybody's here for. See what we got inside. So on the inside, still got the original HP stickers. Got to put those on your plane, right? Show off what you got. Original, after first run of the engine, tighten all screws with a torque of about uh, 12 kilopascals per centimeter. So yeah, we'll want to make sure we do that uh, this time so we don't uh, have another issue. And it looks like we get a uh, guarantee and service card. Looks like we get two of them. Uh, one's in English and one's in German. But uh, now there's a service card where we could have sent it in to HP for service. Tell them what's wrong with it. Guarantee for all the uh, HP engines. Probably won't get that honored nowadays. But then the nice original instruction manual and operating manual on this. Really, really nice manual. They've got all the different line of the HP engines from back in the day in there. Nice black and white photos of those. But if we flip through the manual here, got uh, yep, all the dimensions, engine range for the expert, powerful, reliable, elaborated. Not the best uh, translation it doesn't look like. But these really were uh, nice engines back in the day. This one uh, still had the price tag on it. Uh, it was $200 when it was brand new. And I couldn't find anywhere on here with a date, but I'm guessing these are 1980s. Uh, maybe somebody out there knows for sure what the date range of these were. But uh, you know, 200 bucks back in the 80s was, was a lot of money. Uh, but I mean, they really are really nice, really nice engines. A nice parts breakdown on here. Nice uh, chart with the uh, part numbers and everything for replacement parts. I mean, really, just a just a nice just a nice engine. I'd love to find uh, one of their uh, four cycle engines. I think that'd be neat to have. Anyway, let's take a look inside the box. So under the foam, we pull it out. Here we have the main event, brand new, never been run, HP 61. Now one of the things that everybody seems to love on these is the uh, slide carburetor. We'll, we'll get a little bit of a close up on that to show how that works. But nice slide carburetor, easy, easy action. The way that the uh, needle valve is angled back is actually pretty nice, especially with one of these that has the carburetor on the front. You're not putting your hand in line with the uh, prop to make your adjustments. But just a really, really nicely constructed engine. The the uh, machining on this is nice. It's not like those cheap Chinese ones that you see nowadays that have burrs and and uh, flakes coming off of them. It's really clean. The, the uh, machining is really precise on these. That nice fin top, gold and then the uh, black surface on it. But yeah, just a really, really nice engine. Now this is going to be going, like I said, on that vintage Chaos that I have. And we'll do a video on that, getting that installed in the Chaos. It should be pretty easy 
because that plane already had the HP61 in it, so I won't have to re-drill any holes or do anything like that. So next video should be this being installed in the Chaos. We'll do some test runs, breaking in on this, and getting it ready to fly. And hopefully before it gets too cold outside, we can take the plane out for a nice, a nice fly. So appreciate you guys joining me on this little unboxing adventure on the Gold Cup 61. Uh, if you guys have memories of this motor, or if you use one, have comments, uh, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, the only experience I have with this one is the uh, one that didn't even make it to the field to fly. So I'm really looking forward to getting this thing up and running and working. So until next time, I've been Chad here on Build Crash Repeat RC, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.